everybody, I'm Dorota, that's Univision Moka Regional. I would like to introduce you to the international rock band Pickled Dolphins. Could you guys briefly introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Sasha, I'm from Ukraine and uh, I play guitar. Ahmed from Egypt and I play the drums. Lukasz, I'm playing bass guitar. And I'm Marlon, I'm the singer. Guys, could you please tell me something about the style of music that you play? Well, I would say we are doing alternative rock. We have actually thought about this for a while because we we're not quite sure. Many of our songs are from different genres. Some are more more into rock rock music, but some are softer or um, yeah, just some other styles. I'm not really sure how to describe it. Yeah, we come from different. I mean, everyone has a completely different background from East Europe to North Africa to just heart of Germany and. I think the combination, and besides that, everyone already has a different taste and a different background, different music that he was raised on, and everyone also spent time in a different country for 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 a while. And this mixture, I think, is what makes the band uh, gives the band its taste. Mm -hmm. With such different ideas about how to make music, is it difficult for you to find an agreement on how to play and what to play? Well, I would say. Sometimes it is a little difficult. We have to work on this one definitely because, um, yeah, we have different tastes in music. So sometimes someone has an idea, and sometimes it's perfect, everyone agrees on it, but sometimes, yeah, someone doesn't like it. So this and is the cool part. I mean, that it yeah. starts yeah. With, with something it's completely gracious. different. I mean, if, I, if, you, if you hear the demo of any song from Sasha, it's Absolutely yeah, different than, than, than the end. How and then it goes through me. It goes through uh, through uh, Lucas, and then it goes uh, through Marlon. And everyone adds like you know one more layer of something completely different, a completely different idea. And then the end, the song is like, wow, what what was what was it in the beginning? And then it's yeah. Actually, this is the most important part. I mean, that every one of us has a completely different idea of the music, and this actually keeps it very much interesting because. Everyone has different idea of a particular riff that Sasha came with. So he's playing something and I'm thinking what, about what to add as a bass melody in there. And basically Sasha won't think about this in this way because he has completely different thinking about it. And I think it's very, very much important that we uh, do it together. And then if you put it together, I think it's very, very much uh, cool. And what are your songs about? Okay. The writer. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so since I, okay, I, I wrote the lyrics for most of our songs. Uh, yeah. So like for me, inspiration comes from completely different places and sometimes very unexpected. And also like songwriting is very, let's say, the lyrics writing is very strange process for me, which I don't understand at all. Because like sometimes <laughs> I can just sit and write the song in one hour. Sometimes like I spend the like, half a year to write a song because I know I, ca I know I want to go for that direction but I can't find the uh, good words for that or I don't know just phrasing to describe what I feel but I know that uh, I want to say that and I'm just like keeping with uh, keeping that idea constantly but sometimes I'm like in case of breaking point I think I wrote it three weeks before we first played it in Escape in our first concert yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> Presented your songs in several different clubs in Göttingen in front of the audience. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to play your songs on stage? Usually, the first song is the most shaky one. Like <laughs> usually, the, yeah. we we just start with the first song and like at least from my side it's like could be a bit faster it could be a bit you know a bit shaky like the first song the always the first song but then from the second mm -hmm. song going on I think then Sasha starts to take off his shirt and then it starts to, <laughs> to really develop yeah. like yeah. everyone starts to move like if you if you make a mistake you don't it doesn't mm -hmm. matter because I mean even big bands also make mistakes and then you start to really get into what your message is about is just to, to let the people have some fun and I really hope my mom won't see this interview. <laughs> <laughs>
just to have this motivation after then you're with your PhD and you move on? Yeah, you never know because like, life is such an interesting thing that like your views are changing mm -hmm. sometimes completely like beyond your imagination and what was your priority for example five years ago might not be now but I think like for us music will stay at least I want to believe it will stay with us till the end of our lives who knows maybe we quit science and then we yeah. just <laughs> I think it's, I think it's, 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 it's quite more it's much more probable than yeah yeah music. I think <laughs> we complete it's a PhD yes yeah. Yeah. Now I hope that my professor will not see this interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you come up with the name of the band? Oh, uh, we leave it this to Ahmed. Yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting story. Yeah, I think. yeah it is. So, uh, we uh, initially, I mean, as you can see, there was no band. And we were, at, at least the people we were trying to agree with to make a band name, uh, were completely different. There was a guitarist called Nazal and uh, the pianist uh, Andrea and uh, f We had this group for like I don't know 20 or 30 people and I just had a website and this was called uh, bandnamegenerator.com <laughs> Then you can put like I don't know like uh, something inside and uh, I don't know you can put your name and then it gets you a, a name of a band you know based on your name and I just like random selection and then we had several choices so this, this was like a kind of a voting yeah, yeah. so but had... i think was that was the most reasonable one uh, yeah. so <laughs> you can just you can just imagine well, what were the other names we will not Mole like uh, there was jesus sultan there yes, was so molecular like... coconut there was pickled dolphins and there was something like... also inappropriate and yeah yeah so we just had, we didn't have simply we didn't have other choice so because we were not really sure choice. about having a band and that yeah. this will actually continue. Yeah. And what are your future plans? Um, definitely, uh, in the future we plan to play some gigs, but still we don't know yet uh, when and where. So definitely you can find all information on our webpage, uh, which is pickledolphin.tk, or on our Facebook page. Uh, facebook.com slash pickledolphins um, and also um, for the future we plan to release our first single let's say uh, record of the breaking point uh, it will be also available in internet so keep watching then I wish you all the best good luck thanks for the interview and you thanks for watching us Before I take it